OpenAI had a two-year head start. ChatGPT became a household name overnight. Now, Sam Altman was on magazine covers calling it the future. But here's what nobody's talking about. Anthropic is closing the gap at breakneck speed, and OpenAI's business model might just be falling apart. So while ChatGPT traffic flatlined in 2025, Claude's usage skyrocketed 160%. OpenAI is projected to lose $5 billion at least this year. $5 billion. Now, meanwhile, Anthropic just locked in a massive Google Cloud deal, and the revenue is growing faster than anyone predicted. And more importantly, the category where the revenue is growing is one of the big things that's going to, I think, make a huge difference. So today I'm going to break down a bunch of the reasons why this David versus Goliath story is turning into the biggest upset in AI history. Let's dive into this today. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Pack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, so the AI wars are heating up, and the narrative everyone believed six months ago is completely flipping. OpenAI seemed untouchable, first mover advantage, massive funding. ChatGPT became a verb, but Anthropic is executing a smarter strategy. strategy building better relationships and actually making money while OpenAI is burning through cash faster than anything. This isn't just tech gossip. This matters for your business decisions about which AI platforms to build on. Now, as always, the best compliment you can give me is to leave a comment down below and let me know which AI you're using in your business. It's my favorite thing and honestly the best compliment you can give me. Now, I want to open some of these articles and take a look at some of these. All right, so Anthropic has overtaken o OpenAI and Enterprise Large Language Model uh, API market share. So as you see this, Anthropic is now being used more, uh, sorry, my head's in the way here. Anthropic is now being used more than OpenAI's AI in, uh, in enterprise large language model. This is a huge move because as everybody knows, enterprise is where this is going to really get at. Now I mentioned on here that we have Anth Google and Anthropic announce a cloud deal worth tens of billions of dollars. So Anthropic is uh, Go so Anthropic and Google officially announced their cloud partnership, and it gives artificial intelligence companies access up to one million of Google's custom-designed Tensor processor units, or TPUs. The deal will add an, uh, over a gigawatt of computing capacity by 2026, supporting Anthropic's surging seven billion dollar revenue run rate. So the deal is worth ten billion dollars. And it's the company's largest TPU commitment yet and is expected to bring well over a gigawatt of AI capacity online. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, I feel like Google's the one that really knows the business here. They know cloud computing, they know servers, they know infrastructure, and they've built their own TPU. So the fact that they're betting on Anthropic here is a big thing here. So that's one of the things that I would really look at. Now, this article talks about how Anthropic is catching up with OpenAI. So Amazon has a big plans for warehouse at, Automation. Here's a look at some of this, but it's a little surprised then that Amazon investi investment, uh, no, known from earlier, paying off now. So they talk about the Amazon's documented of its hirings, but let's go down to this part that we're talking about here today. So, Anthropic co-founder Jack Clark gave an interesting talk recently uh, about how he went from being a journalist to working in AI. First was his impression, but impressed by the pace of technology change that he saw. He said, I think the CEO as part-time blogger concept we're seeing here in the AI field should be encouraged and expanded to other parts of the tech world. Now, he goes on to talk about uh, some of this, and he says, pulling revenue from $1 billion to $7 billion in a single year is so, is in so impressive a feat that I can't summon many, if any, comparable examples. This is one of the biggest things. Now, opening, I get a lot of pressure as it scours the world for loose bricks of million-dollar bills to build out a compute footprint that could challenge a sci-fi author's imagination. So they went from a run rate of 5.5 billion in December to 10 billion as of June 25. But by July, its run rate is close to 12 billion. But again, as I talked about in my video yesterday, this is starting to get really challenged. Now, OpenAI's growth rate is insanely good, yet it's a lot less than Anthropic's growth rate this year at 136 versus 600 percent. Anthropic may just catch OpenAI. Now, let's talk about the revenue race between these two. So this is Sherwood, right, which is um, uh, part of uh, Robinhood's uh, uh, news avenue. So the revenue race between Anthropic and OpenAI is getting very heated. So could Anthropic catch OpenAI, right? So we can see in this graph here, and I'll move my head here for a minute. We can see in this graph here that OpenAI definitely has the head start, right? And they're growing, and their supposed growth rate right now is to $12 billion. 
I think there's some things we've seen some cracks in this, as I talked about yesterday, but Anthropic is starting to grow it even faster. The fact that from December uh, of 24 up until uh, December of 25, they're on pro projected target to be $9 billion in revenue. That's just behind this, and they're not burning nearly the cash that OpenAI is burning. So though OpenAI's valuation supposedly soared to 500 billion, and again, some of this has been really challenged by some of the SEC filings that Microsoft has done, um, we're seeing that this is uh, getting, you know, we're seeing this really close because market late July and Anthropic getting to $7 billion this month. That is a lot, right? Now, let's jump over here to some of these other ones, right? So as AI adoption slowing down, this is a huge uh, interesting note, right? Uh, and my favorite things that pop with that. So let's talk about this here. So ramp up AI index, the model adoption rate, right? So overall, we can see that overall 43.8%, we can see it's starting to peter off. Open AI is starting to peter off, right? Definitely starting to see this. Anthropic is petering off, but over here, we still see some growth. XAI, as well as Google DeepSeek, and, and those are starting to continue to grow in a much smaller category. So we can see that OpenAI is still at a large portion of the market share, but this is where things get interesting, right? Um, and let me jump over to one of these other ones here, right? So generic traffic is that ChatGPT continues to lose market share. Perplexity exceeds 2%. So ChatGPT 12 months ago is 8.7, Gemini 6, Perplexity 1.7, Claude 1.7. Now, six months, uh, so that was 12 months ago, six months ago, it is, uh, get this ad out of the way. Um, we see ChatGPT jumping to 78%, um, and then we can see three months go 78.3%, right? So definitely slowing down, now down to 76, and who's catching up here is Claude is climbing up through these, and as of today, we see Claude at 2.7, uh, but really one of the big things here is Gemini is starting to really catch at 12.9 at of total usage. So ChatGPT is definitely starting to slow down on the growth. Now, OpenAI Sam Altman is still looking to spend after GPT-5 launch and is willing to run the loss, right? This, in, and, and you have to go check out my podcast from yesterday because, you know, like he is just spending at an insane rate and something that frankly just doesn't even make sense. Last year, OpenAI was expected to lose about $5 billion on a $3.7 billion revenue. That's an insane ratio. Now, one of the things we've been talking about here is similar webs, right? So all global AI, AI traffic is definitely starting to level off. We see these here was, you know, this market that uh, that level off we've been seeing. But more importantly, as we talk about general 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 AI tool traffic, you can see the open AI is definitely starting to dip, right? It saw its peak here in August, and then now it started to dip and to drop. Who's catching up? Gemini. Who else is catching up? Claude. Those are the two largest ones ramping up. General AI traffic share, open AI is beginning to decrease from six months to three months to one month to today. We definitely see uh, open AI is losing those ground. Now, this is the part that I think is huge. So as we look at this one here, you can see that the DevOps and code traffic, open AI is not even in this. Now, who is in this space? This is corporations. This is where the win is gonna be because corporations spend big and they spend for a long time. Once a corporation adopts something, they don't move away from it. It's very, very sticky. Much more sticky than consumers. Consumers are super fickle, and especially in the AI space, have proved this. Cursor is the big winner here. You can see Lovable has, grown, has really grown a lot over the last bit, but really, Cursor is the big winner here that has continued to hold the crown for a long time. Now, Lovable's coming in here, but you notice who's not in here is OpenAI. And so a lot of other different things that we can go through, but the parts I really want to run through today. So Anthropic hit $1 billion in annual revenue by October 2025. And that was a milestone that shocked analysts who predicted it would take until 2026. And part of that is because they're grabbing these corporate spends. OpenAI's revenue is higher at around $4 billion, but here's a kicker. They're losing $5 billion while they're doing it. Anthropic's growth rate is actually growth rate is actually faster than OpenAI's when you look at the month over month acceleration. The gap between them is closing very quickly. Anthropic went from nowhere to a quarter of OpenAI's revenue in less than two years. Wall Street Journal reports that Anthropic's business model is more sustainable because they're not hemorrhaging cash on compute costs. So I've advised companies through competitive battles, and momentum matters more than size. Anthropic has momentum right now. So the similar web data that we went through shows that Claude's traffic jumped from 160% in 2025, while ChatGPT's growth basically flatlined. 
ChatGPT still has more total users, but stagnant growth is a death signal in tech. It means you've hit ma market saturation. Claude is capturing the professional and enterprise market that actually pays money, not just casual users asking it to write poems and their school reports. When I look at a developer community and tech forums, Claude mentions are surging while ChatGPT discussions feel stale. The quality of users matters more than the quantity. Anthropic is winning the users who spend money on API calls and subscriptions. So after a lot of time in tech, I've seen this pattern. The scrappier competitor with fastest growth eventually overtakes the complacent market leader. Now, Anthropic just signed a massive deal with Google Cloud, getting access to Google's custom TPU chips for training. This isn't just about compute, it's about reducing costs and improving performance simultaneously. OpenAI is heavily dependent on Microsoft, which creates vendor lock-in and limits their negotiating power. Now, Anthropic's multi-cloud strategy with both Google and AWS gives them flexibility and better pricing. The TPU deal means that Anthropic can train models more efficiently, which directly impacts their ability to compete on price. So I've negotiated cloud deals for companies and having multiple major partners competing for your business is a massive strategic advantage. Now, OpenAI is projected to lose over $5 billion in 2025, despite having uh, billions in revenue. That's unsustainable trajectory. They're spending obscene amounts on compute, talent, and infrastructure without a clear path to profitability. And, and Altman even admits that he's not trying to get to profitability, which to me is insane at those kind of numbers. Anthropic is running leaner and smarter, focusing on efficiency rather than just throwing money at the problem. So when your burn rate is that high, you're, you're constantly fundraising instead of building. It's a distraction from execution. Now, OpenAI's valuation depends on perpetual growth, but their financial model requires them to keep raising prices or cutting costs dramatically. So I can tell you guys that unsustainable burn rate always catches up with you. Always, always, always. Anthropic built their entire brand around safety, transparency, and responsible AI, and enterprises are noticing that. OpenAI has faced multiple controversial uh, controversies around data usage, safety concerns, and initial drama that makes risk-averse companies nervous. I know one of the things is the way they thumb their nose at copyright. When I talk to CEOs and technical leaders, they constantly cite Anthropic's approach to safety as a differentiator. Enterprise customers care about reliability and trust more than flashy demos, and Anthropic is winning on both fronts. Claude's context window, code quality, and structured output capabilities are better suited for serious business applications. Companies building mission-critical AI systems want a partner they trust, not a company making headlines for throwing thumb in their nose at copyright. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected, reach out to us because our specialty is connecting systems to help your company work to maximum efficiency. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. Now, Claude Sonnet 4 is legitimately competitive with GPT-4, and in many benchmarks, it performs way better. Now, uh, uh, Claude 4.5 clearly outperforms GPT-5. And so developers consistently report that Claude produces cleaner code with fewer errors and better follow complex instructions. Claude is just, uh, the Claude is just worse than ChatGPT narrative from 2023 is completely dead. Uh, Claude is way ahead in every benchmark. Anthropic is iterating faster, releasing meaningful updates while OpenAI's GPT-5 keeps just getting, is just not that great. And the change from four to five is just not that good. So for coding tasks specifically, many developers now prefer Claude because it understands context much better and makes fewer hallucinations. I've tested both models regularly for client projects, and honestly, Claude is way far ahead the winner. Now, Anthropic's pricing is competitive but sustainable. They're not trying to buy market share by underpricing their costs. OpenAI, OpenAI had to raise prices multiple times, frustrating customers who build businesses around specific price points. So Claude no long, Claude's longer context window it, uh, at competitive pricing means you can do more with fewer API calls. Anthropic is transparent about their costs and pricing model, while OpenAI feels more volatile and unpredictable. So building a business on AI APIs requires cost certainty. Anthropic provides that. OpenAI does not. Now, Anthropic's leadership team has been stable and focused, while OpenAI has gone through so much turmoil and is led by somebody who whose own internal team says he has a pattern of lying. If you don't understand that comment, make sure you check out yesterday's video. Definitely one you got to be watching if you're watching this. Now, OpenAI's board drama, leadership conflicts, and employee departures create real uncertainty about the company's direction and future. Dario Amati and Anthropic's team have maintained a consistent vision and execution without soap opera. 
I don't necessarily love everything about Dario and Marty, but the thing you got to say is the guy has been really consistent. But so when you're choosing an AI partner for your business, leadership stability isn't just a nice to have. It's critical if you're going to build around it. So I've seen companies collapse or pivot unexpectedly due to leadership chaos, and that risk is real with unstable organizations. So after a long time leading tech teams, I value predictable leadership over charismatic but unpredictable founders. Now, developers report better uh, time with Claude than ChatGPT. When your business depends on AI APIs, even small downtime windows translate to real revenue lost. Anthropic's infra infrastructure choices and Google Partnership are paying off in better service reliabilities. So I've built systems on both platforms, and Claude's APIs are drastically better. OpenAI's rapid scaling creates technical debt that shows up as performance issues and outages. Remember the whole debacle about when ChatGPT released, uh, or when OpenAI released GPT-5 and then pulled all of the APIs on four? Yeah, that created a ton of turmoil. So Claude's API documentation, support, and developer tools are consistently rated the highest in the industry. Anthropic actually listens to developer feedback and ships improvements quickly. The Claude interface for testing and debugging is cleaner and more intuitive than ChatGPT's. So when I'm teaching developers in our boot camps and as our registered apprentices, they consistently find Claude easier to work with. So better developer experience means faster time, and that means more corporation adoption, corporate adoption, which is going to be longer term than B2B, uh, B2C, which is what OpenAI has. Now, Anthropic's con constitutional a AI approach is more than marketing. It produces measurably safer and more aligned outputs. Companies uh, in regulated industries like healthcare and finance care deeply about AI safety and explainability. OpenAI's approach feels more move fast and break things and more flippant. I've seen compliance officers reject OpenAI over and over again, specifically because of the concerns about the way they handle data and their output reliability. So the future of AI is regulated AI, and Anthropic is, build, is already building for the future while OpenAI is still trying to figure it out and thumbing their nose at regulators. Now, every metric that matters, growth rate, developer sentiment, enterprise adoption, is trending in Anthropic's favor. I think over the next 18 months, we're going to see Anthropic overtake OpenAI in revenue. OpenAI still has a larger market share today, but the velocity and direction belongs to Anthropic. When professional developers discuss which AI to use for serious projects, Claude comes up more and more. The narrative has completely shifted from Anthropic of this distant second to Anthropic might actually win this. So I've watched enough technology cycles to know that momentum shifts are hard to reverse once they get started. And I think we're witnessing a potential change of the guard in AI. And smart companies are hedging their bet by supporting uh, Claude over OpenAI. Now, curious to hear what you guys think. Tell me down below what you guys are actually using. Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? I love to have a great conversation. So make sure you like and subscribe. And here at Startup Hack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies. So if we can help your company by getting your systems connected, reach out. And here's some great information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI-powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com 